Well, I'm on something nice. Really nice fish took this. This is a big one. I just hope the other rod doesn't go while I'm fighting this. <laughs> Welcome back guys, thanks for watching, um, come down to Tambo River today, I'm going to go right up to the mouth, a couple of guys on the other side at the moment fishing the mouth, but um, I'm going to walk up there, been there before, caught some nice fish, but at the moment reports are anywhere from Johnsonville boat ramp up to the mouth. They've been catching brim, trevally, mullet, flatties. So nice if I hooked up on a nice flatty, but we'll see. I'll get all my gear ready, do that little stroll up there, and stay tuned. As you can see I'm, I've got some um, live shrimp on, unweighted. So I'm going to cast this one out. See how how far it goes. Didn't go that far, but we'll give it a shot. So that one's unweighted, and the next one will be weighted. So hopefully, the art of catching bream is use the lightest weight possible, and about a one slash o to a two slash o hook, and near a structure stuff like that but i know i fished here before and i have caught some some nice fish so i also do have some frozen prawns which are still haven't been thawed out so i they can be used for another day if i don't end up using them but um definitely want to get hold of using some of this shrimp And uh, I can tell you, if I hook up, I think I'm going to hook up nice. So you want to load your hook up as many as you can put on there. Don't be scared. Because if you don't use them, they're going to end up um, dying. So I just grabbed a whole handful. And uh, I'll bait up and I'll get back to you guys. This one's pretty much really loaded up. So that sink is mostly still too heavy, but um, we'll give it a go. Cast out there. Don't have to go far. Make sure your drag's all set, which it is, so something does hit and goes for a run. You're not going to put too much tension on your line and snap it. Now it's just the waiting game. What I could do with this unweighted one, I could put some, I could put a little, a little slit shot on it. But uh, what I want it to do is, when it hits the water, it slowly sinks. And because of the, with the current, it's going to move with the current. So hopefully... Um, we do that fellas well I'm on something nice really nice fish took this this is a big one I just hope the other rod doesn't go while I'm fighting this but I've moved from over that point
So this is on live live shrimp. It's over here. Oh, it's a big brim. Oh yeah. That's a big one. I don't know how I'm going to get him in. That's a big puppy. Oh, he's, a, he's massive. Whew, that's massive. Oh, now, <laughs> now that is the biggest brim I've ever caught. Look at the size of it. Oh, now that was worth moving. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Now that's a stonker. Now that is a stonker. And I did bring the rag, but I left it in the bloody car. Oh, oh. <laughs> look at this puppy. Oh, look at this puppy. He is fat as. Get up there, boy. Oh. So that's 39, 40, 40 centimeters. No, it's not my biggest. Biggest is 43. Or 45, I can't remember. There's a big pup. <laughs> 40 centimeters. Well, this will be the third time I've moved. I'm getting much closer to the car. I just got to have a break. Foot's bloody killing me. Oh. Um, yeah, I think I overdone it today. Uh, but, um, yeah, sun goes down. Normally when the sun's down like it is now, it's when the, um, the brim love to bite more. Uh, especially down down in Swan Reach where I live. There's a spot I go and I always seem to catch them. But uh, this is quite shallow here, which I was surprised. So it must have a drop off. Um, good spot to come down and have a swim in that. But let's hopefully there's some fish around. I've only got about 10 minutes before it gets too dark. I won't be able to see me. Walking back, I've got to walk through that. Looks like a horror, horror film. Might be some drop bears. <laughs> you never know. I'll, I'll, um, I'll let you guys know how I go. Well, the last spot I had no luck. Uh, packed the car already. But uh, a lot of people have been fishing the Tambo over night time. From dusk till dawn so it must be going pretty good but uh as you know this i'm gonna upload this vlog but it's not that big but if we go somewhere you can see my face <laughs> um thanks guys for watching i know it's not a long one but um at least it's something that i'm uploading to keep you guys entertained uh location tambo river river mouth 40 centimetre yellowfin brim, nicely caught, 
on a one to two kilo Daiwa Hyper Rod, six pound leader, six pound braid. Um, on the new um, Daiwa J Braid, I think it was called. Um, yeah, stay tuned for more Burko's Fishing Adventures.